Hello Aquarius, welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is the second half of August 2019 career and finance, love and romance, spiritual guidance reading. Welcome if you are new, welcome back to those of you who have been with me from the very beginning, who have come to me for month to month readings, and most importantly to those of you who have donated in order to keep this channel up and running. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. All right, so I'm starting out with the first Lenormand deck in order to get a big picture view of the energies that will be available for you to work with on into and through the second half of August 2019. So dear Lord, spirit guides and angels, please bless whichever Aquarius energy I'm reading for during this general reading with clearly defined messages regarding career and finance, love and romance, spiritual guidance. Okay, wow. So we had a couple cards jump, okay? It appears as though uh, a, now is a time of reflection with the book energies, a time to research. What is it exactly that you have been wishing for? We have an Aquarius who is contemplating, traveling, and or physically moving towards a new wish that they'd like to see come true, a new chapter in this Aquarius's life. Wanting to text, talk, tweet, or referring to some form of paperwork regarding career and finances. And finding out more clarity about should I give or am I receiving kind words, messages, flowers, and gifts or gifts from another. What should I do about this communication or paperwork or this desire to communicate? Because for some Aquariuses, there is an ending here with the coffin energies that was meant to take place at this time. So it's about accepting an ending to an old path, an old journey, an old way of being. But, and I guess, leave freeing yourself from the cage energies, feeling stuck or trapped in some way. That's why Spirit saying with the magnifying glass and the clock, it is now time to research your next chapter of your life. For a lot of people, now is a big start on into and through the next 10, 20, 30 years. Okay, so by the fourth going into the fifth week of August 2019, we have a very passionate Aquarius energy. We have a desire to rise to a higher level or to give birth to a connection, a new direction, recognizing what you learned about yourself through maybe a passionate connection in the past. Really reflecting on with the anchor energies, your stability and security, wanting to sweep away from either an old passionate situation or, yeah, I feel like some are learning really about someone from their past and now they are wanting to make some changes in the area of stability and security. Again, wanting to travel or physically move into a new direction. Now, we do have children here and indecision. Which way do I go? Which path is the right one? Should I or shouldn't I? And uh, changes. Changes when it comes to home and or family. Changes when it comes to maybe moving to a new home or business situation. Uh, with the bear, I'm feeling that you are being guided to open your heart to another. So I feel like there's an Aquarius that's partially wanting to sweep away from a connection instead of moving forward because they're indecisive about making changes when it comes to home or family. About opening their heart to a new path because of a situation involving children. Yeah, we have a very passionate masculine, um, I feel like Aquarius here that's feeling very burdened. They're afraid to open their heart. They're afraid to move into a new direction. Or you're thinking of a passionate masculine and you're feeling burdened. The burden has to do with confusion. Should I or shouldn't I? Which way am I going with the maze energies? Am I making a mistake? Should I devote myself to a new path? There's a little bit of fear here about discussing a new journey ahead with another in the second half of August, 2019. 
So I'm going to lay out a five card spread to clarify those messages. Again, we have a uh, an Aquarius that's feeling really good. You're receiving a lot of attention and recognition. You're contemplating um, a karmic path ahead, waiting at a distance, trying to obtain more wisdom about your long-term future. For some, in a commitment, partnership, or contract, thinking about a group of people or your current home environment or friends and how you could bring a quick and swift ending to your current circumstances or location in order to create the next chapter of your life. So Spirit's saying here with the wishing well and the star, we want to help make your wishes come true at this time. You have the ability to manifest. You're in your element, but you've got to get clear with Spirit about exactly what it is you are wishing for and what it is you will have to bring a quick and swift ending to. All right, so I'm bringing in the second Lenormand deck for clarification of the first. Again, I'm feeling a lot of anxiety here when it comes to this particular Aquarius energy during this general reading. And thank you to those of you whom let me know that these are indeed your energies and or your messages. Yes, there's anxiety when it comes to traveling or moving into a new direction with your life path. So I feel like by... It could be the 20th, which would be tomorrow, or the fourth week going into the fifth week of August 2019. In Aquarius, thinking about meeting up and negotiating with another, about forward movement in some way. But then by the end of the month, we have, should I roll the dice and take a risk? And an Aquarius that's still unsure, even after you have some form of conversation. Okay, so on the bottom of the second Lenormand deck, we have the snake. Sometimes this represents energies of lies and deceit within oneself or in connection with and to another, or these are the energies of fear. Yeah, I'm really feeling a lot of fear when it comes to the next chapter of your life. It's time to reminisce, to reflect on what you have learned about yourself in previous situations, connections, and now open your heart to communication regarding commitment, partnership, or a contract. Because Spirit's going to be bringing you signs and synchronicities about your long-term future when it comes to the area of love and romance. Some are going to be thinking about a bigger, better, more financially abundant, secure, and stable situation. But uh, when and if they move into this bigger, better situation, uh, they will indeed have to bring an end to some form of old path or journey in their life having to do maybe with this lady energies having to do with a situation involving a child uh, it could be that you are a little bit bored and discontent and you want to give in to some playful energy you want to move forward into a new path a new journey and you're thinking about your finances. Now, I've seen the fish here twice. So some may be thinking about a lady energy who has water in her chart, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Thinking about your children. Thinking about making an end or creating an end to one path so that you can move into the direction of a new path. Yeah. Yeah. So by the fourth going into the fifth week of August 2019... Spirit is telling this Aquarius, you have the key to success, to reflect on the previous experiences in your life, and to now plan your long-term future. Again, with the star, Spirit saying, we are going to help you to travel or move, physically move into the direction of a new chapter in your life, a new direction. You're, they're helping to make your wishes come true. So that you can celebrate a situation regarding home or family. Again, moving to a new home or business situation or circumstance. Uh, wanting to sweep away from the devotion of another or sweep away from a home environment and old situations or circumstances. Celebrating the devotion to someone new, texting, talking, tweeting, and feeling at the end of August like the sun is shining, things are flowing. But see, we have this uh, well-dressed gentleman energy who is fearful of the path ahead. 
uh, focusing too much on the obstacles, which is causing confusion and anxiety. So it's really important to get clear about exactly what you'd like to see come manifest in the second half of August 2019, Aquarius, and then speak your truth with into another about the next chapter of your life. Bringing a quick and swift ending to an old commitment partnership or contract. Facing your fears when it comes to love and romance for some of you. Communicating with another so you can obtain more wisdom about a more financially abundant, secure, and stable situation. That could have to do with home or business, since I'm covering a lot of energies here. Okay, so I combined the two Lenormand decks and did a five-card spread. From now going into this fourth week of August, we have an Aquarius who is either going to go quickly towards another with some form of communication or who is going to be receiving unexpected communication or you're wanting to communicate with someone. But again, with the mice energies, there is anxiety. So get clear about what it is you're anxious about. Write down what it is that's making you anxious. Cross it off and replace it with what goals and intentions and communications you need to have about your future. Yeah, because Spirit is saying we want to bridge you into a new path, a new direction. But with the cross energies, you're feeling a little bit burdened. Yes, you're thinking by the fifth, fourth going into the fifth week of August 2019 of meeting up and negotiating and talking with another about what it is you want to give birth to next in your life, uh, what it is you want to travel or move towards. Yes. And these are the questions or concerns that are causing burden or burdening energy for this Aquarius. Now, at the end of August 2019, this Aquarius is starting to recognize a very karmic and lucky connection, direction, offer, opportunity. But you're still a little bit confused with the moon. And again, Spirit saying, meet up, negotiate, and talk about what karmic direction you'd like to go towards maybe with another yes definitely with another open your heart roll the dice take a risk for some of you there is a new financial path or direction however that may apply and you are indeed if you open your heart going to be climbing into a position of greater abundance somehow where someone's opening their heart to you and you're thinking should I roll the dice and take a risk of course, the answer to that is going to be per person, per personal reading. So should these messages be resonating for you and you'd like more information, feel free to write me at my email for a personal reading. My email address is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer one month, three months, six month, and yearly readings. I'm also offering a summer special, which is a 15-minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give it a try. All right, so, <clears throat> pardon me, I'm bringing in the Rider Weight deck for more clarification, and I'm going to be doing a circle spread. So in the center of the circle spread, wow, I feel like this is you, Aquarius, with the Knight of Wands energies, wanting to go quickly towards another to discuss the future direction of your circumstances and in your thoughts position. It's because you're shining like the sun. It's because you're feeling like things are flowing beautifully in your life. You're feeling like a kid again. But see, in the relationship sector of the circle spread, you've got the five of wands. Burden. I'm unsure. Frustrated about the path ahead. Spirit saying in your creative aspects position, now is a time to create a very passionate connection where you can discuss the future direction with another. Look at that, Aquarius. <clears throat> I felt this coming too. So in your actions position with the Two of Cups energies, this is about coming together with another and discussing the future. Oh my gosh. Recognizing that your wishes are coming true emotionally by the end of August. If you take it upon yourself to go passionately and excitedly towards another and talk about stepping into a new karmic path together. But see, subconsciously, there's fear here. Am I offering an empty cup? Are they offering an empty cup? Is this the right direction for me? And that's where the frustration is coming in. 
So day to day, Spirit's giving you the Four of Swords energies of rest and rejuvenation. Really reflecting on some form of struggle that you put three of your Four Swords into. Taking time to rest and contemplate. How should I use my final sword? Should I continue to fight an old battle? Or should I go passionately and excitedly towards new wishes that I can make come true with a soulmate? And I use that description soulmate very, very lightly. But it's strong here. Now, in your inner strengths position, you're going to have the Queen of Cups energies, the strength to be able to clearly, as you open your heart, listen to your intuition and receive uh, the clarification that you need. So when you are unsure, communicate and listen to your intuition. For some of you, you have the strength to, I feel like, get beyond a connection with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. For others of you, you have the strength to go towards a water sign and reconnect passionately or discuss passionately how you are now going to take some steps to make your wishes come true. Oh, I feel like this is a love situation. Yeah, okay. So again, for some of you, there may have been a new path or a path that you were on in the past with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. And now uh, that path has ended with the Ten of Swords. It has been long and difficult, and it's time to let those swords dissipate so that you can step into this new Ace of Cups energies, a new path in love. Yes, some of you are now going to have the strength to walk away from a path, a connection, an emotional situation that no longer serves you. Um, you've paid your dues and now the Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. Some of you are talking about coming together and getting engaged, married, meeting up with others, meeting up with someone who has Earth in her chart, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. I guess it's his or her. Spirit just goes by energy, not sex of a person. Yeah, an exciting new passionate direction. Speaking your truth to another about what you want so that you can free yourself from however you've been making yourself feel stuck, Aquarius. The Eight of Swords is a figment of your imagination and Spirit saying if you discuss the future passionately with another, you will start to recognize that your ship is coming in. But you've got to be open to this new path, this new journey. You've got to pray specifically to spirit for exactly what it is you'd like to see come to a completion as you step through the portal of a new beginning with the major arcana of the world. As you honor your truth and plan what victory means to you now, moving forward with your life. Yeah, there was an old path, an old struggle with the nine of wands that became too much in the area of home business, creativity, finances, and it caused for you to feel sad or depressed, feeling poverty consciousness. And now you're looking at someone or you're feeling the energies of the Nine of Pentacles, great financial independence and stability, but I'm feeling like one person is financially abundant, secure, and stable, and I feel like the Aquarius is the one that's closed off emotionally. There's fear here because of previous heartache in the past. But Spirit's giving you the courage of the Two of Wands to contemplate a new direction. To bring an end to what no longer serves you. And to move into the direction of those who appreciate you. Who give you the recognition and attention that you deserve. So move playfully towards the manifestation of what you want in your future. And communicate with others about what it is you'd like to see come manifest. Because Spirit's trying to guide you towards more success in your life, Aquarius. And they're giving you the strength to heal. Okay? Some may be healing from an old water sign connection, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Some of you may be thinking by the end of August about someone who has Sagittarius in their chart with a major arcana temperance and or... Spirit is saying we're going to help you to heal from all that has transpired in the previous chapters of your life and now to help you with new goals and intentions. Because some of you are crying over spilt milk of what used to be 
And again, Spirit's helping you with the Hanged Man energies to stop and look at things from every perspective day to day so that you can get to the truth of what it is you desire so that you could speak your truth passionately and excitedly and celebrate a change for some in the area of home or business. You're going to start to see the light at the end of the tunnel, and that's that. It's time for a new chapter, but you're feeling a little indecisive, a little unsure. Go for it. Spirit's trying to make your wishes come true. Wow. I'm going to clarify real quick whose energies. Though I do feel like somebody is letting go of a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, and they're trying to open their heart to a passionate new direction with another, with a passionate connection, trying to get to the truth of, is this my soulmate? Take action to tell someone, you are my soulmate. I do want to move forward. I feel great in this connection, circumstance, or situation. Yes, go forward excitedly with the star card energies. And speak about what it is you are wishing for. And in your thoughts, as you're shining like the sun, you may be receiving a lot of attention and recognition from someone who has fire in her chart, Sagittarius or Leo, or someone who is just a very caring, loving, giving, sharing energy. And you're recognizing that about them in your thoughts. So in the relationship sector, come out of this confusion and understand with the Nine of Pentacles that a... Connection has ripened to the point where it is ready. With the Ten of Coins energies, you could come together with this passionate connection to another. It could be person, place, circumstance, situation, environment, or um, a client. And start to see the light at the end of the tunnel, especially when it comes to security and stability. And Spirit saying, take action to enjoy the ordinary day-to-day -day with another. The Eight of Pentacles is about recognizing old, unhealthy patterns, behaviors, or cycles, and now who you are today. Trust and have faith in your prayers as spirits wanting to make your wishes come true. Subconsciously, some of you are afraid that you won't receive an offer or you're afraid to move on and give an offer because of someone who may have Taurus in their chart. But with the nothingness energies, now is a time Nothingness is about the, a moment of pause before we step into a journey or at the end of a journey. Taking some time to think and get clear. Am I ready? Are they ready? And that's why a discussion in the second half of August 2019 is important. Turn inward with the Four of Cups, the Four of Swords, and the Hanged Man energies day to day. Spirit's giving you the strength with the lover's energies to speak your truth about the area of love, to find the clarity that you seek as you listen to your intuition. Roll the dice and take a risk when it comes to an ordinary, day-to-day, -day, loving, contented relationship with another. For some of you, on the bottom of this deck, we do have the hermit representing someone who has Virgo in their chart. So it's a very playful time. Spirit's trying to guide you to recognize that when two people come together, they both need to give 100%. And if so, then that indeed is a full commitment. You're going to understand by the end of August, if you communicate with another, that you're now shining like the sun, feeling like a kid again because you have gone through this breakthrough. The High Priestess is going to help to guide you, Aquarius, to give you the signs and synchronicities as to how you can step into a path of great harmony and serenity, a happily ever after, because you've gone through a very spiritual transformation, and the gift for some of you may be coming in the form of an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, male or female, after some time of healing here. So listen to your intuition about something you want to celebrate. Plant those seeds and have the courage to push beyond the obstacles of fear or worry. So I'm closing with one card from the Sacred Rebels deck by Alana Fairchild. And you're receiving beyond the mind, the heart beats. Beyond overthinking, beyond what was, your heart is now beating stronger for what can be. 
What you want, wants you as well. So trust yourself. You can do this. You can take off the old Pandora's gift, the old mask, the old experience, and now put on a new mask and become a newly evolved you. So to close, I'm going to read my notes about this card. This card means confirmation that you are where you are meant to be doing what you're meant to do. You're being asked to trust your heart and to drop into it. Your love for life, the need to feel alive and express yourself, and the quest for that which is truly fulfilling, these are the sacred urges that rebel against fear and promote the passion for being alive. They flow through your blood and can be felt through the beating of your heart. Your head and heart have been in conflict at times over the course of your life. This has brought you struggle and sometimes deep suffering. However, this oracle brings you the message that a truce will soon be declared and the appropriate outcome of the mind waving the white flag of surrender is imminent. This oracle comes as a confirmation that these are healthy signs of a shift from head to heart. You are not proceeding in error. You are exactly where you are meant to be doing exactly what you're meant to be doing. You are allowing yourself to be guided by your heart, a heart that beats in harmony with the heart of all existence. Beautiful. Again, if these messages have resonated and you'd like more information, feel free to write me for a personal reading at my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. Take care and God bless.